Hi guys, it's Brittany1000 here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a BJD face up tutorial or aka speed paint. So the first thing you're going to need is a sealant. I'm using the Mr. Super Clear UV cut, um, but you can use the sealant of your choice or the one that you prefer. Um, you're also going to need a mask. I'm using the NIOSH OV P95 mask. Um, this is a really good mask to use. You can get these on Amazon because nothing is worth your health and these sealants can be extremely toxic. Um, so today we're going to be working on this beautiful Fairyland Feeple 60 Celine head. Um, I'm taking the back of the head cap off and I'm starting with my black acrylic paint. Um, I'm also going to dilute that paint a little bit with the Liquitex Flow Aid, that's my medium of choice, and you're gonna wanna dilute that to give it a nice ink-like consistency, um, and that way it helps it to go on better. I'm also gonna be using some pastels today, um, and I'm just shaving a bit of pastel powder off with my X-Acto knife, and then I'm also gonna use some watercolor pencils, um, and you wanna keep those pencils really sharp with a really good sharpener. So first off, I'm starting with the eyeliner. Um, I'm gonna layer some of that black acrylic paint on the inside of the upper liner. And um, that's just how I like to start my dolls. I like to do that first so that that can be drying while I start doing the blushing on the lips and other blushing on the face. So here I decided that I wanted to add um, some watercolor pencil to the lip area to give her the appearance of a lip liner. I decided that I wanted this doll to have the appearance of wearing makeup, so I felt that if I were to line the lips that that would help add to that effect. That Prismacolor kneaded eraser really helps out a lot when you're wanting to fix mistakes. Um, and I actually show all of these materials that I used on a previous video, so be sure to check that out if you want a list of the um, products and materials that I use and where to find them. So here I'm adding some pastel for the eyebrows. Um, I like to line the eyebrows with the pastel first. Um, it helps me to have a little more control of where I want to place them. And also, if I need to reshape them, it's easily erased. Um, later on, I'll be going over those with some watercolor pencil and adding the hair detail. Um, there's a ton of ways that you can do eyebrows. This is just my personal preference. And now on to face blushing. 
Um, I like to really give a lot of detail to the face by blushing underneath that nose in the little divot above the lip and especially on the side of the nose. Um, anywhere where you're going to have uh, shading and, um, and variations in the face naturally. And here is where that makeup comes into play. I decided that I wanted her to have blue eyeshadow, but I wanted to give it an ombre effect. In other words, by making the eyeshadow darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. And you can do that just by layering more color on the outside of that area that you want to be darker and less color on the area that you want to be lighter and just kind of blending it in. Here I'm using a white watercolor pencil to go above and below those black eyelid creases that I drew on earlier. This not only helps to highlight that area, but it also helps to clean up the edges of that black watercolor pencil. Here I'm using a peachy orange watercolor pencil to um, color in the waterline on the lower eyelid. I'm also adding tear ducts to the doll. Um, now this doll does not have tear ducts sculpted into the sculpt itself. Um, I'm just adding those to see if I like the effect and I think I like them. So here you'll see me going over the same areas again um, and I'll do that three maybe four times. Um, basically you're just layering color. Um, your pastels and your pencil will only darken so much over each pass of MSC and then you want to do another sealant and then go over those areas again to give you more depth of color. Um, and here again you'll see me darkening those lips because I really want the lips to be a nice vibrant shade of magenta. So I'll have to go over those quite a few times to get that depth of color that I want to get. Time for teeth. So for the teeth, I'm using a bright white acrylic paint. I'm really excited about this because this is the first doll that I've ever painted that's had teeth. So here I decided to use a light pink Pearl X powder right underneath the eyebrows. Um, it gives a really nice shimmery, shiny effect um, to that area and I think it turned out really pretty. And then here I'm just going over the blush a little more and then darkening up those eyebrows with some dark brown watercolor pencil. And now that I'm happy with the depth of color I have, I want to use my Tamiya X22 acrylic clear paint to go over that eyeliner and especially that lower eyeshadow to seal that in. And then of course over the lips to give them a nice shiny glossy effect. And time for eyelashes. I just picked these up at a local hair store. I cut them to fit and then used eyelash glue to apply. And 
and she's all done guys i'm super happy with the way she came out i really really love the color and the makeup effect i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys to the moon and back and i will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye